Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, actually sitting here with a book in the press and while I was waiting for the time to run off, I was thinking, let me just record a video about some books I picked up this weekend. Uh, so in this pile, I have a few books that are speculation, uh, some indie books that I think are really important and key right now, also great stories. Uh, but also I have two really, really big, I don't think they're too big, but there's some grail books that I thought were great. One for the cover, one for the story. So let's check these out. And remember, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button uh, for more content and awesome books that I get to pick up. Check these out. All right. So the first book I have here is the Superman Son of Cal l We know that this book just heated up and I actually found this variant cover on the rack at a local shop. So it's still good to be able to find a wall book while everyone is hustling for it. So I just wanted to make sure to pick that up just in case. Uh, the next one is Future State, and it's a Rose Besk, which I've been collecting, so not really reading the story of Future State Gotham, but her, her covers have been fired lately. Um, I have this, I have the Silk, I have the Miles Morales, so I thought it'd be another great one to add to the collection. Uh, so that was definitely a cover buy. Then we have Department of Truth 13. Uh, again, another great story that's happening right now, but this is also a cover buy. I think I have a pre-order of this from Tifa, but I wanted to make sure to grab another coffee because I love the contrast. Um, it's really great art and it's very similar to the Rose, just a little more two-dimensional. Probably not even similar to her. I don't know why I said that, but I really like the style of it and I think the red pops on the blue. This other book right here, again, like I said, Spec. Um, I think I bought this on Whatnot a few days ago. I actually got it in the auction for $3.00 with one dollar shipping so that wasn't a problem so sure easy pickup when everybody's selling for twenty two dollars why not next i have miss marvel nine uh got this in a back issue bin and the reason i got it is you can see right here the bracelets are going to be big and we just got the news on that so this is one of those spec books that i mentioned so i grabbed it uh also a great cover i love how she always has something going on you have the variants of her ripping captain marvel's photos or her doing the graffiti so it's a nice consistent thing that you see going on on all these covers these i've been finding kind of everywhere i found a few of these when i went to the what was it fan expo of boston um, but batgirl 35 new 52 with the brand new costume we know that there's a film coming out or a character so i made sure to grab not one not two, a variant cover, and the second print. And again, this is before second prints were big, but really like that on purple. I think it's way better. I wish I actually had the Purple Rain homage cover that they have, but this will do. This book is one that I really liked for the story. I pre-ordered it on Tifa. I read this issue, um, but when I went into the store, I saw that there were a few variants that I hadn't seen, so... You have cover A, you have the 1 in 15 variant, and then we have the uh, Aftershock Ambassador exclusive. So I saw those on the rack, and I grabbed both of them. These next couple of books are things that I either found on Whatnot or and, uh, at a flea market. So this is just an awesome X-23 cover. As you can see there, it's... Uh, Breast Cancer Awareness, Susan G. Cohen for The Cure. Uh, so it's definitely benefiting that. But when I saw this cover, I was like, this is going to be one of those great variants that never dies down. And I actually pulled it for half of Fair Market. So I thought that was a really good pickup. The next book is a Del Lotto cover. Uh, Old Man Logan in here with these flames or whatever. Uh, but I thought it was a really good book. So I grabbed it. Um, and again, another book that was hard to find, but a great cover. So another cover by this last one is a book that I got and I've been looking for for a while. I was at a flea market this weekend and I just bumped into this one gentleman who had it. He actually was running it for, uh, what was it? $55, but he gave me the book at a steal. So I got it for 40, which is a little round market price. And it's not too bad of a cover. Um, I think there's a tick right around here. I really can't see it right now, uh, but there is a tick 
on there. Um, but not bad. So he took 15 bucks off for it. And I really appreciate it because I just wanted to add this one to the PC. I might submit it, might not. Uh, but it's definitely going to stay with me for a while. All right. What do y'all think? Did I do good? Did I do bad? I got a few books that cover. As I mentioned, some speculation, some really great stories, some keys. I got that all new Wolverine number two, which is a hard find for me. I have not come across it in any uh, dollar boxes or any uh, walls in any store that I've been to. So this is the first one I've seen non slabbed and I'm glad I was able to pick it up as well as that breast cancer cover. Big fan of X23. She's actually one of the few characters that I purchased when I was in my mid twenties, when I first started collecting. So I do have a slabbed copy of NYX three, uh, double signed by Middleton and Casada. Uh, I'll, I'll bring that out one day. Um, but again, thank you for watching as always glad to be with y'all, but remember to like subscribe, and feel free to comment. I'd love to hear from y'all about my picks. Talk soon. Peace out.